Yo, what's up? How you guys doing? Today we're gonna be checking out this here entry grade Vegeta kit. Uh, I, I picked it up like sometime around or right after Christmas, something like that. Like I've t I talked about how I picked up a bunch of model kits on either a stream or a video a long time ago. This was one of them and I just never got around to building it. I have, however, built a figure-wise uh, Ultra Instinct Goku before, so I doubt it'll be anywhere near as poseable. The hands are like this because this is supposed to be like in the hands, but I dropped it when I picked it up. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, the, the, the figure-wise, of course, has more parts and more mobility to it. This is just an entry grade where you don't even, well, they say you don't even need anything to, to put it together, take it off the runners and stuff. So, I'm going to go ahead and check that out. I have built a, a freaking entry grade strike Gundam before, so it should be about the same. Except I'm assuming this is going to be like less parts. Because, you know, it's, it's a dang humanoid character. A Dragon Ball character. It's also why I'm doing the video because it shouldn't take too long. Get that out of the way. Yeah, man, you know you're not doing much when this is the instructions. So like, <laughs> that's it. Oh goodness. Okay, so let's 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 just get to it, right? Let's see, got four runners here. These are obviously gonna be like the arms and the legs. This is the armor and hair. Okay. Alrighty then. Let's see, we got A1 here. Uh, boom, 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 boom. And we need, oh, off of A2 we need 23. I was like, a2, but A2 is another piece of hair. It's like, no, 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 you idiot. Half of the other runner, you need A23. Which is a small piece, which I'm guessing is like the eyes. Yeah, that's what it looks like. It is most definitely the eyes. So, that just slides right in. Uh, okay. Give me a second. I have these fat freaking fingers. All right. Gosh darn it. Work with me. <laughs> they refuse. Like, sir, we refuse to do what you want to do. There we go. Okay. Yeah, and with these figures, like, um, son of a gun. <laughs> Unlike Gundams, you don't have stickers for the, um, the faces. Like, the eyes will just connect to the flip. Can you just focus in? Thank you. The eyes will like connect to the, gosh darn it, to the hair, and that'll be your color for the eyes. It's an interesting concept, an interesting way to do this. Anywho, we need A214 now, which is the face. So we'll just get that off of here. Simple. Pop that on over this. All right. Let's see. Now we got Vegeta's face here with his um messed up hairline. Alrighty then. Of course we're gonna need these other pieces of hair now. Ah, uh, they tell you to put those together from the other side of the dang pamphlet, I guess you would call this thing. But we're gonna need a two. There we go. Drop that over there because we're gonna need it immediately. Uh, let's see, what they're telling me to do is A4. There we go. And A3. Man, I still could have got the dang things to clip these off. They don't pop off as easy as they said they should. Okay, anywho. Let me just slide this together. There we go. Okay. And then... A5. T. 
take that. Oh, uh, let's see. Oh, I see. You have to put this one together first. Give me a second. I'll get it. Trust me. What's that? You don't trust me. But why? Why don't you trust me? <laughs> oh, goodness. Something just slid over and fell. How unfortunate. It's fine, though. Don't worry. I'm trying to see where this goes. The diagram is not the best when pointing out this dang hair. My goodness. Yeah, because that's definitely... Oh, I see. I see. I see. This slaps on here like this. Okay. That's why I couldn't tell what it was. Gosh darn it. See, this is... This is, this is why you have things to cut these things loose. They're a little freaking nubs and junk that are kind of in the way. It's fine though. I'll get it in a second. Son of a gun! Darn you fat thumbs! Okay. There we, son of a gun. I thought I had it. There we go. Who? That jump did not want to work out, huh? All right, now. Freaking slide this in. Dang docking sequence to the hair. <laughs> okay. Now the face connects. And the head is done. Excellent. All right, now for the body. Okay, so we're looking for A1. Pop off the front piece of the armor. I'm trying to see if, um, cause it looks extremely straightforward. So I doubt I'm gonna even need to worry about what piece is what, cause these pieces actually you know, makes sense and junk. So all I need is front back. Yeah, because it's just it's just four pieces here. Just take the front, slap that on it. The back piece. Okay, let me just put them together. Yeah, figured that wouldn't be any hassle whatsoever. All right, and up next, B1, that's here. What are we looking for? B11. And that connects with this here that I've already pulled off because I figured we need it next. Let's see. Okay, so I just need to get it like there. Boom. Ah, I see we're making the shoulders. That's what it is. And then A213. We're now putting together his friggin' thick neck. Glorious. Let's see. Okay. And then that just goes up here. I'm surprised more of these pieces don't snap when you put them on. Okay. So. That's the, the torso for the most part. Now we got to get these arms together. All right, so, oh, flip, the hands are in two parts. Interesting. You got like a back side and a front side to the hand. Hmm. Come on. 
I was trying to be careful because, you know, these are freaking fingers and you don't want to break them. That'd be horrible. Okay, so, hand. Well, let me make sure I don't have to put this on anything else before. I, no, okay, just put the hand together. Come on, flip. I should have clipped my nails. They're in, <laughs> they're really hindering me right now. There we go. Okay. Oh, that's 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 actually really nice. Like if you look at it closely, the freaking line isn't too bad there on the hands. Like unless somebody's up super close on it, they won't even notice. Okay, let me get the other one together. And so one's an open hand, the other one's a fist. I guess technically the hand isn't all the way open, but it's mostly open. Son of a gun. If I could only hold parts. Okay. Yeah, that that is that is nice. How well this goes together. There we go. Okay. Sit those to the side. Now we got to get the arms. This one is empty. A1 is done. Just toss it over to the side. <laughs> get it out the way. I don't have a lot of space here. They're like, look, I got Beyblade parts all over this table. This is the only space I have. So I'm just trying to keep it clear so I can do this. All right. So the arms are just, just like the hands, just two pieces to put together here. So, just pop that off. And it is. Uh, boom, 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 boom. B5 and 6, what they want to put together first. I want me to do the right arm first. Okay. So, uh, boom, 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 boom. just take that and do it like that. There we go. That's a snap. And then the right hand is this one. Put that son of a gun. Just, just, just. Let me see. Oh, there we go. There it is. Okay. Put that in there. And just goes right into the socket. Apparently. Wait. There we go. Okay. Man, it's gonna have his arm all kind of jacked up in a horrible direction. Okay, let me put this other one together. Uh, boom. Yeah. Man, we just gotta see where this is going. Like that. Okay. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Put the head on too. Oh yeah, that's looking good. Okay. And uh, boom, now for the legs. It's funny, the legs have the most pieces. Not the actual legs, the actual legs are just these big hunks here. But I mean like the, um, the, the feet, the boots and junk. That's all just boots and feet. <laughs> oh, goodness. See, because the legs are just, just popping these things off. Slapping them together. Oh, gosh darn it. There we go. Yeah. There we go. He's almost all together. Uh, look at this. This figure is clearly representing actual height. <laughs> uh, okay, so we got 16 here. And 15. So there's just the pieces that are right next to each other. No need to even look anywhere else. Just come off the runner, please. Uh, Flip. I'm sorry, I got distracted. I didn't know what this piece here was for because I was about to toss this. I can toss the leg one, that's done. 
Okay. Anywho. Let's uh get this together. You better get it together or leave it alone. If you don't want my loving, I'll be gone. That is the right leg, okay. And for the right foot, we need uh, 24 and 18. 18's here, 24's here. And on top of that, we need 26. All right. So let's go ahead and get that. Boom. There we go. And like that. My goodness. I was gonna say that the feet were poseable, but they're not. Okay. All right, that's one. Now we just gotta get the other one. Just about done. I'm sure you're sick of me by now. Right, right. Glad we all agree. Flip, piece didn't want to come off. All right, another empty runner. We can just, I'm making sure there's nothing else. Just toss that over there. Boom. Boom. Get this little piece here. We're almost done. So close to being finished. Son of a gun. Just, hold on, wait a second. Let me make sure I'm putting this foot on right. Because it was... <laughs> It did not seem like it was going the right way. It's allowing me a little too much freedom. There we go. I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. It's right in there perfectly. Okay. And let's see. Yeah. Wait a second. Something's not right. This foot isn't going in. Oh, there it is. Got it. Okay. And there you have it. It is done. And this last piece that I didn't know about is for the foot. I guess to make sure it can stand. You slide it in the back of this foot here where it has a little, little groove there. Yeah. So it can keep its balance. Okay. All right. And there it is. Freaking entry grade Vegeta. My goodness. This is like this is like nowhere near the beginner kits for a Gundam. Because the, the Gundam beginner kit is like um a high grade, but it's just less detailed. It's 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 less detailed and it has less uh what's the word I'm looking for? Um I was going to say posability, but it poses pretty well because I, I have one. It's like sitting over to the other side. I don't I don't have it on hand. You know what? I could I could get it. Give me a second. OK, so uh, like I was saying, you have these which are um, ignore this shield and the extra gun. Those are from um, the RX-78 beginner kit I had. But um, with these, it's, see how detailed it is and stuff? You, you can't really tell that much because I freaking painted it dark. But the thing is, it actually poses in junk like a, a high grade wood. You know, you get all your freaking mobility to it. Like everything can be adjusted in junk. It does bend at the waist, turns and all that, you know. But this here is just one stiff pose. But as for something that you just you're just gonna be sitting around and 
let them be on display on your shelf next to your other um kits or whatever it's fine but you'll never have another pose <laughs> it's just gonna be this forever like the goku here it has alternate hands and stuff of course it's 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 a better figure it's the figure eyes said not an entry set but you, you know what i mean like i assumed that the entry kit would be like this but of course less detailed and you know not have 15 different hands to it and different uh freaking blast effects and stuff i just assumed it'd be a basic version of this but it doesn't even have a, an ability to move like that's it you might as well glue this thing together like with the Gundam here, if you if you freaking glue it together, you'd never be able to do any more poses with it, you know? Like, I like to have mine sitting up here with the guns forward and two shields, because I think it's cool. <laughs> but with the Vegeta here, this is all you're going to get. Anywho, it was a fun video, different thing to do here on the channel. Uh, let me know if you liked it. Because I do have another one I could do. I also have another figure rise that's a, a Gogeta Blue. But that would take a lot longer to do. And I'd have to do some editing on that to cut it down. So you wouldn't have a freaking uh, 40 minute to an hour long video. Of me fumbling around with the dang um. What do you even call those things? I can't remember what they're called now. Nippers. Flip. You know, things you, you cut the pieces loose with. Because you don't want those freaking nub marks and junk. Anywho. This is Vegeta. Oh, son of a gun. <laughs> I was about to say, he's just going to fall over forward. You have this piece on the back of your foot to stay up, but nothing on the front to balance you out. But then again, this tile here is kind of uneven, so that's probably why. But yeah, overall, it's a cool thing to have posed. Uh, this was... At full price, I think it was like 15 bucks. But, um, like I was saying, I, I got this around Christmas time from like Hobby Lobby. It was on sale. So I didn't pay anywhere near that much for it. So if it was like, uh, if it's on a sale, you can get it for like under 10 bucks. And you just want a Vegeta to sit on your um, shelf. Then, yeah, maybe dope. And as you, can, as you saw, it didn't take much to build it. Heck, I could have probably built it without the instructions because all the pieces are straightforward except for the hair. The hair has a couple of pieces here and it's like, oh, well, you got to really pay attention to where you're putting those in there. But again, straightforward. Like after a couple of minutes, I would have figured out the hair too. The hands are just two pieces. The arms, two pieces. The legs, two pieces. The feet are on, um, what is it, four pieces? Five, five pieces, because the, the, the top of the boots are two, and the actual feet here are three. So yeah, simple little thing to put together, even if you're not, you know, the best at putting together kits and junk, and you don't have to put any details into it, I'm probably gonna, like, take one of my own freaking panel line and markers and mark in the armor and stuff, Make it a little more detail, make it pop a little bit more. Because that's what I did with the Goku here. Because, like, as you can see, there are like lines on it. I don't know if you can actually, that's coming up on the camera. But I put some extra lines for detail so you could actually, you know, see all the details on the body and stuff. But, anywho, that's going to do it for this. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you next time. Peace out and have a great day.